everybody, welcome back to Church and Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'm doing a quick hit review of Smoke Wagon Uncut the Younger Straight Bourbon Whiskey. All right, so Smoke Wagon Bourbon comes from a uh, Nevada Distilling Company in Las Vegas, Nevada. They um, are not distilling their own their own bourbon right now. They're they're basically uh, aging it and blending it there in uh, Las Vegas. This is their one of their newest releases. It's uh, called uh, Uncut the Younger. So this is a uh, you know non chill filtered and and barrel proof. Now, one thing that um, Smoke Wagon does is they get all their bourbon from um, MGP of Indiana, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. So all the barrels that Smoke Wagon has gotten so far from MGP are MGP's High Rye Bourbon Mash Bill, which is 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. So it's a 36% rye mash bill. And this particular batch comes in at... Um, 57.18%. So these are not single barrels. They are batched, but this is, like I say, uncut, unfiltered. Now, Smoke Wagon also does have uh, one of their initial releases is called Uncut, Unfiltered Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Um, these range in proof around the same. This, this particular bottle is 56.34%. So, you know, within a one proof point of this Uncut the Younger. Um, so it's the same bourbon. Mash bill, same same stuff from MGP. The original Uncut Unfiltered is believed to be aged six to eight, maybe even nine year old uh, barrels. And this new Uncut the Younger is gonna be, you know, four to five year old barrels. So same same bourbon, just younger. Hence the Uncut the Younger. Uh, another bottle that, um, another bottle that Smoke Wagon has is their original, um, just straight bourbon whiskey, and this is not uh, um, barrel proof or anything. This comes in at 92.5 proof, but but I just wanted to point this one out because this bottle, uh, a lot of people like the design on this bottle. It's it's uh, you know pretty decorative, and they do put out different versions of this with different colors for some holidays. They've done some Fourth of July, some Halloween, some Valentine's Day, and all that. So. Uh, but um, I believe, just looking at it, that effectively this, this uh, Uncut the Younger is the reverse image of this uh, print that they have on the, uh, the regular small, small bag. So, you know, where this is just printed with what you see here, this is like the inverse of that. So, you know, pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to go in and give this a nose, give it a taste. Give you all my thoughts on it. All right, definitely uh, on the aroma. Pulling off some caramels. And some Rickhouse Oak on that, so some nice oak. And some caramel. So, give it a taste, cheers. Yes, definitely hot cinnamon on the taste. It does have some oak um, on the on the tongue there. Um, the cinnamon lingers. It's it's got a real good mouth coating. Real good. It's not a not real viscous, but it is coating, and you can feel a little bit a little bit of thickness there. Um, certainly not uh, watery, but um, the heat is what hits you first. The the cinnamon spice. The, um, you know, there's some sweetness, some caramel there, just like on the nose, um, and some oak there also. Um, finish, eh, seemed to be about a medium finish. Hmm. Definitely nice sip. The youthfulness, 
personally, I don't think it comes through that much. Um, yeah, I don't know, you know, aging a little longer, um, you know, might round that off a little bit. Um, might even, you know, change the, change the mouthfeel some more and all that if it, it just had some more time in the barrel, but good flavor. Um, I wasn't going to do a comparison here, but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick pour of this, uh, regular uncut unfiltered and just to, just to get, refresh my memory on the taste of this guy. I'm, I'm definitely smelling more spice on this one, on the nose, more and more of a, a rye spice. Yeah, more oak, less, actually a little less spice on that. Um, it definitely has the cinnamon spice. It has some other baking spice in there also, though. Uh, it has the sweetness, has the has the heat, the um, mouth coating is actually not any better than this uncut the younger. Um, but I think the lingering heat may be lingering a little longer, so a little bit longer finish. But. Definitely got a lot more sweet that time on the uncut, uh, the younger. So, and then the spice was toned down after after sipping the uncut unfiltered. But yeah, great taste. Price point on these, the the normal straight bourbon that I showed you, um, I've seen here in, in Kentucky. The only place I've seen it has been at uh, Total Wine here in Kentucky, and it came to Kentucky late, so it's definitely been in other states longer. And I think the price is better in other states also at some level. But the uh, regular straight bourbon whiskey um, is about $35 price point when they have it. The small batch, which I didn't mention, but they do have a small batch, which is 100 proof. Um, that's like a $50 bottle here. And the Uncut Unfiltered is uh, like a $70, $75 bottle. Um, I know I've seen prices other places where those three are more like 30, 45, and 60. Um, this, uncut, this Uncut the Younger, uh, when I found it, it was only uh, like, you know, less than $45. I think it was like $43. So it comes in cheaper than the small batch. Um, and, you know, more on par with small batch prices in other states, maybe. But, um, you know, very similar to the Uncut Unfiltered. And here, it's a good $20 cheaper, if, if not more like $25 cheaper. So, um, you know, from the, for the straight, it's cheaper than the small batch. And that's only about, you know, 10 to $12 more than the straight bourbon whiskey. So this was a great pickup. Um, I've, I've only seen it once so far. Grabbed this bottle and, and it's gone, but I'm sure it'll be back. Yeah, very tasty sip, very good mouth coating, um, good cinnamon, good oak, um, good sweetness on there. So I think this guy is a definite winner. Um, uh, I think, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully they'll continue to put out the regular uncut unfiltered with the extra age on it. Um, I know a lot of people are worried about a lot of MGP stocks you know, running out and all of some of the older barrels disappearing and all that. So uh, that's, I'm sure that's one reason this even exists. You know, these, these four to five year old barrels as opposed to these, you know, seven, eight, nine year old barrels. So, but um, I'm not complaining. I think this tastes um, just as good as that. I would enjoy it um, any day as much as that. So, and the price point is there, so. Hope you liked what you saw here. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of these, if you've had them, if you've seen them, if you've never had them. Um, love to have a discussion with you. Uh, let me know, you know, prices and availability also, what, what, what you see, what you don't see. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning uh, viewer, welcome back. You know, make sure you hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And 
Remember, everybody, all bourbon is whiskey, but all whiskey is not bourbon. And the best bourbon comes from Kentucky. Cheers. <laughs>